Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out... Wheatley, apparently. <laughs> There's so many Wheatleys. And, uh... And a half. And another half. Alright. An easy mess by Deathwish808. This is a map that came from some scrapped ideas that are no longer in this map. <laughs> I've- I've been there before. I've made a map wanting to use some idea, and then, like, I try and build a puzzle around it, and then I end up removing the original purpose that the map was made for, because the puzzle around it was better. <laughs> I think I've done that before. Great issue fixed with updates. Easy, 2 out of 10, possibly let me know. Multiple methods to do things, hashtag bmod. I'm not personally a fan of multiple solutions, but I guess we'll see how this turns out. Oh my gosh, that startled me. So, fun fact... These don't actually work how they're supposed to, as you can see. Sometimes they just don't pause when the game is paused, and other times, like this, it like, actually resets the entire animation, which is interesting. I haven't seen that before. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Have... a funnel... and no music. Oh, it's cause I... yeah. I know why that's like that. We- we have the ambience from the elevator because I- I walked it. Oh, we do have music! It's Rexora music, so it always starts off quiet and you always think you don't have music, but there actually is music. I think- I think this is one of my favorite Rexora songs. Let's see here. I want to use this to funnel. That does that. We have... Colored cubes. Cool. That's a nice shade of green. A... Oh, I can just press this button, can't I? I'm not thinking straight today. It's kind of rainy today. And the barometric pressure, when it rains, makes me sleepy. Let's see here. We can press that button to get that, but we have to get over there first. Huh. This turns off this fizzler. Ooh. Interesting. Couldn't we just, you know... Do something like that. Alright, looks like we can. Let's just put that there for now. And... It looks like we could just jump into the funnel. Yeah, totally can just jump into the funnel. I guess that's one way to do things. Ooh. That is a rather interesting shade of... red. Like... I don't know, that's weird, it's kind of like... meat red? I don't know how to describe that, really. That turns off that fizzler. What all does this do? Anti-trapping, I suppose. Heh. <laughs> that's for the funnel, actually. Can we get this camera to pop off? Yes, we can! Ha ha ha! Take that! Death Wish Aidway, trying to spy on me while I'm recording. How dare you. There you go. Was there a fizzler here? No, I guess there wasn't. So. Exit condition. Oh. Interesting. So we have to bootstrap a cube up there. I think I can make that work. How about we swap these cubes first of all? Yeah, I think that's the appropriate course of action to take right now. Put that there. Hang on a minute, let's put this on there the proper way. There we go. And we can put this guy here. And then we can respawn this one. Gotcha. Now. We might be able to do something like... like that? No... come on. What the? Hang on a second. I saw something there. HA! That's interesting. I don't think I've seen this bug in a long time. Because the portal is near, it allows objects to get pushed through. 
There's a, uh, I think in speedruns, they put a portal on a wall in one of the early chambers, and then shove the cube through the wall to trigger the trapping dialogue. That's what that reminds me of. Oh, crap. That's- that's gonna be tricky to pull off. But I see what I have to do, kind of. Oh no, actually I just- why am I trying to point it that way for? Clearly the much easier way is the way that's gonna work. Look, there we go. You see that? That's how you're supposed to do things. Right, but we need another cube, so we can do this later. What does this go to? Oh, just the top half, huh? What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, right, that, yeah, this, this platform. That- that would make sense, wouldn't it? And then... I suppose I can use that, right? Oh, I need a laser for that. Oh. How am I going to do that? Because if I stand here... This only lets me get out. So I have to put... I have to put the laser cube up there, I think. Ooh, which means I've messed up already. Alright. Fine by me. Let's, uh... Let's just undo some of our progress, perhaps. Goodbye, cube. And an auto-response. Whoa! That was... not quite what I was expecting to have happen there, but I suppose that works. I forgot that I had my portal on the floor there. Yeah, so. Ooh, is that... A green regular cube? I guess it must be. Did the music stop? Oh no, it's back. It's just looping. It has the quiet part in the loop. Right. I just got deja vu for a moment, because I'm tired probably. Put that there, there, there. And we can get the cube. And then get the laser cube up here. And I think... Yes, we can... Oh. So we have to stack it on top of this cube. See the little light strip under there? That means that it's centered. Huh. Okay. No problem. Let's get into this funnel which kills the awesome music, unfortunately. And apparently the laser cube is now intangible, to me, at least. That's, that happens with funnels sometimes. It's just a bug. Lazy valve bug. Theoretically, that should work. In theory. Cause this- yeah, that's centered. Ta-da! We got the lime cube! Right, now let's get out of here. Now we can respawn this guy... ...and do what needs to be done to get the other cube. There we go. Lime cube acquired. Now we have all the cubes we need. Excellent. I'll go ahead and put this guy right here. Right there. There we go. And then I'll take this guy out and put him into position. Perfect. And last, but not least... Uh... That'll do. Let's get to the exit. Look at this. Two different kinds of light strips right next to each other. Ta-da! Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. 
and I'll see you all in another video. <laughs> That's sort of me. Goodbye!